Thanks for visiting the site and clicking through this video. I want to keep you up to speed on some current projects and resources that TomDavisMusic.com has to offer. There are many new compositions, resources, and articles that I've written about the website and about the business. And there are some very interesting new projects underway right now. And I invite you to check back often to see how things are going and what kind of resources are being developed. There's a very interesting project on the books right now called Kiwu for Kalama. Through a local organization, my town, we're trying to build a well for Kalama, Kenya. The people are badly in need of water and actually have to walk two miles to get water from the river. This is becoming more polluted day by day by growing industry. After making the trip to the river, they carry 20 liters of water on their backs back to the village, another two miles. It's been very interesting to find out about the political and cultural background of these beautiful people. It's my hope that this music that will come out of this project will raise money and go directly to the village, Kalama, to build their well, which by the way will cost over $36,000. Check back as the project develops. You'll find it very interesting, and I'm very excited about it. A few weeks ago, I began to explore the rhythm and the melody of Dr. Martin Luther King's speaking. There's something very musical about the great speakers and preachers of this world and how they deliver their message, especially Dr. King. And it's the essence of their delivery that I believe is the essence of jazz in so many ways. You'll find some information about the new piece that's arising from this melodic and rhythmic content of his important speech all here and now short, powerful speech. Hopefully on Martin Luther King Day some elements of this composition may be performed locally. My new Flowers for Algernon CD is now available on ArtistShare. You can travel to TomDavisMusic.com or you can email me at Tom at TomDavisMusic.com to purchase the CD. It contains many of the commissions for the past two years and some very beautiful music. I'm very proud of it. Day is Done is the result of discussions between myself, Michelle Harrell of WHRO in Newport News, Virginia, and composer Stephen Melillo, champion of those who serve our nation in uniform. Day is Done is an interesting jazz piece that includes an audio interview of C Colonel Edward Shames, commander of Easy Company and subject of the HBO series Band of Brothers. It's a beautiful anthem to the living, based on the familiar hymn to those who have fallen. Resources for Instrument of Justice, a new work commissioned by the Arkansas Tech University Jazz Ensemble, Dr. Tim Howe, director, are online for you to view. There's a wealth of interesting information on the compositional process and the piece itself, as well as the composer visit. There are many new resources that have been developed throughout the years as a result of many great projects that have been underwritten by commissioning parties or researched on my own. You can view these online. Some are about my personal compositional process, and some are an analysis of information I have gathered over time. I hope that you'll find all of it interesting and enlightening. The Cyber Critique is a new way of coaching an ensemble remotely or sharing information online. For this, you can record your group and email the audio to me via email to critique, either through the video format that you will see or through a Skype or iChat session. This has proven to be an effective way to work remotely with another group, and I've been able to give improvisation lessons with this format. Working with Dr. Tim Howe in the Arkansas Tech Jazz Ensemble, we found that the composer visit was greatly enhanced by these pre-residency sessions. There are a few new articles and books that have been published recently featuring Tom Davis music publications. John Kuzmich Jr. wrote a technology article for School Band and Orchestra magazine. And that article gives kudos to creative efforts for the online resources bundled with each downloadable jazz chart, especially because they promote independent and self-paced learning. 
David Cutler just released his new book, The Savvy Musician, in which Tom Davis Music Publications was noted for the innovative use of the marketing plan, treating the entrepreneurial musician in a way similar to a corporation. Coming soon is an article co-written by Dr. Tim Howe of Arkansas Tech University on the use of internet communications throughout the compositional and commissioning process. I invite you to stop by and view everything on TomDavisMusic.com. There's some great resources offering fresh perspectives on new and old information and paradigms. I also invite you to give me a call or email me at any time to talk about any of these resources or projects. The primary motivating factor for me as an educator and an artist is to create new music that describes people and their stories and to immerse myself in the composer visit might be something that offers a unique experience for you and your students. And if so, I'd love to talk to you about the ways we could work together to bring new music to life.